Welcome back to AI Business TV. I'm Ben Wadecki and I'm really, really pleased to be doing Yi Chan from Boltzbits. How's it going? Fantastic. It's really amazing event. Really enjoyed. Thank you. Yeah. So talk, you're from Boltzbits. Talk to us a bit about what you guys are doing there. So Boltzbits, we focus on generating these automated generative uh, AI technologies and support the business to attack uh, some of the most challenging automation digital challenges like extracting information from documents or recognizing this kind of potential churn users and figure out what is the reason behind it. So yeah, that is what we do. You're yep. doing some really innovative things with some really uh, newer pieces of the AI technology yes. side of things. So we're going to start talking about foundational AI. Yes. Um, talk to us, for those not in the know, would you mind telling us a bit about what foundational AI is? Yes, foundation AI is kind of a, a new concept that are tied quite closely to generative AI. So its fundamental idea is to get a huge amount of unlabeled data. That's typically what do you mean by unlabeled data, I would say. It's basically the data our human experts work with, like the customer profiles, uh, the PDF documents, the uh, financial reports, or whatever data that is you work every day, and just throw that to this generative AI that is learns all possible uh, patterns from it, and then it gains a lot of knowledge from the documents. It becomes a bigger AI, so we call it fundamental AI. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how, what, how does foundational t AI tie into the work that you guys are doing? And, and, and just on that point as well, it, it's it's important area of AI. How integral is it to the wider AI industry? Yeah, it's, it's uh, deeply attached to the core of AI because not everyone is using AI. And a lot of people know AI is amazing, but it consumes user teaching the AI for the solutions. So that, 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 that teaching part actually is the bottleneck of AI adoption. And fun, fundamental AI addresses that fundamental problem, which is you don't need to label data. You don't need to label your documents for particular reports or, or label your customers for particular purpose. You just throw the profile and then you ask a question. AI will figure out itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it reduces the labeling cost. And, and that cost aspect as well is huge right now given yes. what's going on. That must yes. be so rewarding for your clients, I must imagine. Yes, yes, indeed. This is why we attract the clients. They usually come to us with a problem that is that they just don't have data. <laughs> they just don't think it is, they could solve it. And then they come to us. They say the solution is a vow. Yeah. So you guys are also working on something really exceptional, which is low-code, no-code, right? Yes. Huge things in low-code, no-code right now in the AI industry. but. What are you guys doing in that particular aspect of it? Yeah, uh, it's also tied to this fundamental AI's idea because it is now our AI is not designed for particular problem, so we don't need to code up our AI for a particular problem. So it requires less coding to customize it for a particular problem. So this is also make our AI more accessible to people who just have data. Yeah. So on that as well, the in, you know we talked about the prices there, but. How important is it for businesses to also utilize low code? Because you know, the amount of data you store increases your prices, right? Cloud can be, if you've got a lot of data to process, your prices are gonna be skyrocketing. But how important is it for, to keep those costs down and efficiency up to use things like no code and low code? Yes, so uh, to address that, you should come to BossBeat. <laughs> you should come to some AI experts. So we, uh, we worked um, at Google and Twitter before, so we know the fundamental infrastructures. So those expertise to build up those um, in the right way that can cut a lot of cost. Mm -hmm. But also, uh, training generative AI, it could be costly, but to apply it in a smart way, actually, it's definitely saving money. So there's a lot of expertise involved in it. Yeah. So what are clients coming to you, Chan, and saying, uh, questions wise, what are they having about no code, low code? Are they familiar with it? Are you guys having to educate them on actually how beneficial it can be for their work? No, that's the least part <laughs> because they usually come with, I don't want code, I don't care about what AI you're building, I just want to solve the problem, I don't, and I don't have much labels. Well, that's <laughs> the typical, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear. Yes. Um, so you guys are here at the AI Summit London, and Boltzbits are based in, you're based in London, right? You're yes, right now in yeah. London. Um, how important is it for you guys to be here showcasing the work you're doing among some of the, the biggest technology providers that, that AI has? Yeah, definitely. It's a very exciting opportunity for us to show 
what we have, our cool technology uh, is capable of. Yeah, and then this is a really fantastic event connecting with all the different uh, uh, verticals and different technology vendors and with big names, what you mentioned, which is also attract the big cloud for us. Yeah, and, and we are also collaborating with big vendors like Intel. We work with them on like accelerating generative AI for multiple domains. And you guys are showcasing your, your technologies, your platform, your loco platform here yes. at the event. Yeah. What can they expect if they were to come by a post event and say, reach out to yourselves? What could they expect platform wise? So we are about to launch the platform. So we uh, hope this will give a warm start for more people to gain some visibility. We have these uh, signing up forms of the waiting list so people later can come to our platform and just check out the demos, how they work with. Yes. And one important thing as well that you guys recently had, and it's a really, really good piece of news, is that you guys had your pre-seed funding recently, yes. right? Yeah. Talk to us a little bit about that and what can we expect going forward? Because a pre-seed means another seed's coming. So what can we expect? Yeah, so actually it is not pre-seed. We just raised a, a, a seed round, actually. <laughs> yes. That, so that actually, yes. my research. Yeah, yeah, so we, we had a, we had a pre-seed uh, uh, two years ago. Yeah, so during the pre-seed, we are more technology development. And with this seed round, we are more on business development. So now we have our technology really robust, and we found a couple of very exciting new like use cases we are exporting and mainly going to the digital marketing and the financial services on the document processing these kind of applications. So yeah, so we are on the good track and hiring. Yeah, good. <laughs> that's good, that's good. So we're here at the AI Summit London and looking ahead to next year, what are you hoping to showcase going forward over the next 12 months? What can we, our audience, expect to hear from you guys going forward? Well, this year we come with the six demos and the covers, computer vision, natural language, and decision making, a lot of things. Next year, hopefully, we will double the number of demos, and a lot of them will be, have already commercial uh, clients. Yeah, that is what we hope for. Well, yeah. hopefully next year we'll have this conversation again, and yeah. uh, we'll see what you've got to offer. But until yeah. then, Yi-Chan, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Yeah.